Hello to all grade 11 under our ABM strands. Welcome to Senior Pablo TV. So your first lesson in business mathematics or under your module 1 is the fraction, decimals, and percent. So we're going to cut this lesson into three videos. For our first video, this video will be our first video. Our topic is converting fraction to decimal and percent form. So from fraction, we're going to convert into decimal and write into its percent form. And for our next video, we'll be changing decimals to fraction and into percent form. And for our third video, converting percent to fraction and decimal. So this will be our sequence for our module one. So let's start converting fraction to decimal and percent form. So let's start converting fraction to decimal and percent. So let's say we have 1 over 2 will be our example number 1. We're going to write into decimal and percent. So we have 1 half to write in decimal. We need to divide. So 1 divided by 2. So that is 1 divided by 2. So 1 divided by 2 cannot be, so we need to write 0 here, then write our decimal point. So 10 divided by 2, that is 5. So after our decimal point, write 5. Now 5 times 2, that is 10. So we need to subtract, so 10 minus 10, this is 0. So the decimal, the equivalent of 1 half in decimal is 0 0.5. So in decimal, that is 0 0.5. We're going to write into percent. So our 0 0.5 To write in percent, just multiply to 100. So times 100. So our shortcut is, count the number of zero, 100. So there are two zeros. Then from the decimal point, just move two units to the right. One, two. So we have 50. Then, of course, write the percent form. So, the decimal equivalent of one half is 0 0.5, and the percent form is 50%. Let's have another example. Let's say we have 5 over. 6, write into decimal and percent. So that is 5 divided by 6. Cannot be. So write the decimal point, then put 0. So 50 divided by 6. Six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four, thirty, thirty-six, forty-two, forty-two plus six, forty-eight. So eight. Eight times six, this is forty-eight. Now we subtract. 
50 minus 48, that is 2. 2 divided by 6 cannot be, so write 0 here, then bring down 0. Next, 20 divided by 6, that is 6, 12, 18. So, we write 3 here, then 3 times 6, 18. Subtract, so we have 2, write 0 again, then bring down 0. So, 20 divided by 6, 3, then 3 times 6, 18. So, bring down 2. Notice that if we're going to continue, our answer will become 3, 3, 3, 3. That is repeating and non terminating. So our final answer is 0 0.833, then write that, 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 the ellipse symbol. This will be our decimal form. Or that can be 0 0.83, then bar on top of 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. Now, writing into percent form, so we have 0 0.833 times 100. So we have move right, uh, move to decimal point to the right, so 83.33%. This will be our percent. So that is on how to convert fraction to decimal and fraction to percent. In order for you to get the percent, you need to transform or convert first the fraction into decimal. Then after getting the decimal, just multiply to 100, then write the percent form. Now, I want you to try the following example. Now I want you to try the following examples. Number three, four, and five. In number three, we have three over four. Number four, five over 16. And number five, seven, one, four. You can pause the video to answer number three, four, and five. Then after answering, resume watching to check your answers. Three over four. Convert into decimal first. So that is 3 divided by 4. We cannot divide 3 to 4. So write the decimal point, then write 0 on the right side of 3. So 30 divided by 4. So we have 7. 7 times 4, 28. Subtract. 30 minus 28, that is 2. We cannot divide 2 to 4, so write 0 here. Bring down 0. 20 divided by 4, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. So we have 5. 5 times 4, 20. Subtract. Zero. So our decimal form is 0 0.75. This will be our decimal form. Zero point seventy-five. So you can use your common sense to check our number three. So in our number line. If this is 0 and this is 1, we know the midpoint of 0 and 1 is 1 half. Then here, half of 1 half is 1 fourth. 
then half of 1 half to 1 is 3 over 4, which is 75, or 75% of our, in our number line. So that's it. Actually, you don't need to solve long division if you can answer it mentally. Decimal going to percent. So the percent form is 0 0.75 times 100. So two zeros, move two on the right side, one, two. So that is 75. So the point is written here. So because that is understood, so it's okay not to write the point. Then since percent form, don't forget to write our percent. 75% will be the percent form. Now, number four. So we have five divided by 16. We cannot divide five to 16, so write point, then write zero. 50 divided by 16, so that is 3. 16 times 3, 16, 32, 48, so 3, 48. Subtract, so we have 2, 0, 0. So 20 divided by 16, we have 1. 1 times 16, we have 16. Subtract, 40 minus 16, that is 4. 0, then bring down 0. 40 divided by 16, so 2, then 2 times 16, 32. Subtract. 40 minus 32, that is 8. Write 0, bring down 0. So 80 divided by 16, that is 5. So 5 times 16, 80. Subtract, so this will become 0. So the decimal form is 0 0.3125. This will be our decimal form. To write into percent form, so 0 0.3125 times 100 is equal to move to decimal point on the right, so that is 31.25%. This will be the percent form. Okay. Actually, you can check your answers using the calculator. So, 5 divided by 16, so 0 0.3125. Then, just multiply to 100 times 100. 31.25, don't forget the percent. 3 divided by 4, number 3, that is... 0.75 times 100, 75%. Now let us try number 5, 714. So I'm going to erase some part. Um, okay, I will erase this and this one. Okay, so number 5, so let me rewrite our number 5. Decimal form is 0 0.3125, percent form is 31.25. And number 5, 714. First step, we need to separate our full number to the fraction because this is a mixed number. So 7, this is n one fourth. 
Okay, we can read this as 7 and 1 fourth. We just computed 1 fourth. The equivalent of 1 fourth is 0.75. Although, that is 3 fourth. So, we're going to compute 1 fourth. So, 1 divided by 4 cannot be. So, put our decimal point, then 0. 10 divided by 4, that is 2. 2 times 4, which is 8. Subtract 2. Then we have 0, 0. 20 divided by 4, we have 5. So, 20, 0. So, 1 fourth is 0 0.25. So, this is 0 0.25. We're just going to add to our whole number, 7. So 7 plus 0 0.25, that is 7.25. Okay? In, this is our decimal form. In percent form, is multiplied to 100. Or move decimal point to the right twice, 725 percent. Okay. That will be the percent. So that's our lesson, converting fraction to decimal and percent. Stay tuned for our next video, changing decimal to fraction and percent. Thank you for watching, Senior Pablo TV.